I had a video prepared today to talk about why teachers suck and it was a comedy video and I had a lot of funny things to say and then something really serious happened today and I just felt like I had to talk about it, I had a vent and I had to just kind of talk to you guys. So if you didn't hear the news, almost 30 people were shot and killed today at an elementary school in Connecticut. The worst part about that entire sentence I just said was that it was at an elementary school. Yes, an elementary school. A 20 something year old man walked in to an elementary school today, shot and killed almost 30 people. Over a dozen of them were young kids. Young kids, five, six, seven years old. And it just breaks my heart and drives me crazy that this exists, that we live in this world. How can you look at a five-year-old in the face and shoot him? How can you do that? This is a very serious issue that unfortunately we've had to deal with for years now. It happened in Columbine. It happened at the Virginia Tech shooting. And now it happened at an elementary school. You know, we all talk about how rough we have it or we've had a really bad day or it's raining or Johnny canceled my plans or my mom said I'm not getting the new iPad for Christmas or this and that. But then you look at the broad perspective, something like this, and it just opens everything. It makes you realize that what we do and what we complain about is so small. The scale that we complain about, the things that we complain about really don't matter at all because they're all fixable. But something like this isn't fixable because no parent should have to send their kid, their child to school with a fear of not knowing that they would come home. You know, every day on the internet, I see people arguing back and forth, oh, I'm gonna kill you, man, or this or that, or don't make me do this, or all these things that people say. And it's always just, okay, yeah, just a typical hater. But then something like this happens, and you think, how many people are out there that actually mean that? How many times did this guy, this 20-year-old scumbag, who killed all these innocent people today. How many times did he say that to somebody? And that just went overlooked. People just said, oh, he's nuts. He's not actually gonna do it. Yeah, he always says he's gonna kill his mom and all that, but he's actually not gonna do it. And then he does. When are we gonna understand that it's not the gun laws we need to control? It's the people. I'm hearing a lot of reports, I'm seeing a lot of tweets, people saying we need to ban guns. Banning guns is not going to happen. People need to protect themselves and they have the right to protect themselves. You're always gonna be able to get guns. It's just the way it is. But what I'm saying is we need to stop these people before they can even buy the gun. You know, I remember back when Columbine happened. I was a young kid, but I still remember it. And after VTech happened and everybody gets up in arms and there's gonna be these big movements and everybody's gonna to band together and try to ban guns. And all it does is create conflict. It creates a problem. The problem in this country is there are a lot of sick people that just go unnoticed, that we don't want to deal with, we don't really care. They can do their thing, they're not going to hurt anybody, and then they hurt somebody, and then we all feel guilty. We need to be more understanding of our surroundings and who is around us. I just want to say for the families of Newton, from the bottom of my heart, I am so sorry that you have to go through this. Because I know how hard it is to lose somebody when you don't expect it. Growing up, I only thought monsters existed in movies, in books, and in TV shows. But as I'm getting older, I'm realizing that monsters exist everywhere, in real life. And I know there's gonna be arguments on this video on people going this way and people going that way. Just stop. Just stop because it doesn't solve anything. All these arguments, all these talk show things are not gonna solve anything. We need to solve each other. And once again, just like in Columbine or Virginia Tech, they'll blame video games. People will blame everything on the moon, but they won't blame themselves. That's the biggest problem. They'll blame it on Grand Theft Auto, but they won't blame it on the fact that we're all too blind to really care sometimes. Because I've seen it. I've seen it on my Facebook. People will say things like, damn dude, I'm about to go into my school and shoot it up. People will comment, ha ha, lol, do it. Man, you got jokes. But in reality, what if that guy actually does do it? And what if this guy, the guy who went into this middle school or this elementary school, posted a status like that? We just ignore it. We have to stop ignoring it when it's right in front of our faces. There are always signs. Believe me, there are always signs. So once again, for all the families affected, it will get better, and hopefully this will change some things for the better. God bless, and have a Merry Christmas.